Hi guys, welcome to part five of this video series where we're making this signet ring. And uh, this, this uh, part we're gonna be um, concentrating on rendering the, the ring. And in fact, this will be the final part uh, because we've actually, we're done making this ring. Um, so the first thing we, we probably wanna do is switch over to rendered view. Now, if you are only gonna have your ring in metal, this will be fine. If you're gonna have a gem, like a diamond or a ruby or something, you'll probably need to be in ray trace mode. Ray trace mode is uh, seems a little more, uh, you know, my, my computer struggles with it a little bit more, and it's definitely a lot slower to react, whereas rendered reacts uh, in real time, and uh, seems a little easier on my computer. But if you're, but you have to switch over to ray traced to see uh, gems. Uh, I'll show you why. If uh, we'll just click over here to the properties tab and click on materials, and we're going to create a new material for this ring anyway. Eventually, we're going to do a metal material, but I'll start off with a gem material, and we'll do say a ruby. And if we uh, change to rendered the ring is just clear uh, and this is not what you're looking for you would want it to look more like like this so now this ring looks like it's made out of you know ruby material so that's the difference you're you're forced into uh, ray traced if you're using gem materials but if you're just using metal the rendered uh, will be fine and rendered is, seems a lot easier to me uh, so now this is like a red material, a red metal material, but we don't we don't want that. So we're going to uh, go with. Um, we'll just delete this whole material. I don't know if we can do that. Can we do that? I don't see a place to to delete that. So we're just going to create a new one. Because the cool thing is when you click on metal, um, well, actually, I guess I was thinking you could do gold or whatever, but I guess you do have to change the color. And uh, so if you have to change, if you have to select a color, why not do it on the first material, right? So we'll just set that to white as well. So now we've got two metal materials. Both of them are white. Let's call this one uh, Silver Smooth. And the other material we'll call um, Silver um, Rough. But we want the most of the ring to be using silver smooth. And uh, now this is fine here. You could leave this like this if you wanted. Um, but I'm gonna make a couple more adjustments over here on the render tab. Uh, the first thing uh, that I did in that speed model video was I changed to a gradient and I left it at the default of white to kind of a medium, dark medium gray. Um, and then I also came down to here. Well, I, ac I accidentally came down to here, but this is where I needed to be working. I added a new environment and I chose um, Rhino interior. For some reason I have two Rhino interiors and two Rhino skies and two Rhino studios. I don't know if I accidentally like copied these or what, but just grab one of them. If you've got more than one, just you know, pick whichever one. They're all the same. Okay, so this is just a little bit more uh, detail in the reflection. It makes the metal look a little better, in my opinion. And what is going on here is, uh, you know what? It looks like maybe they're not all the same. It seems like it's in color. Yeah, that's the same. It's the same. So, um, 
So that's that. And it just is a more uh, detail, like you're in a hotel room or something in here, you can kind of see like there's a bed with some pillows on it and a picture. But that's that. And uh, then for the uh, rough metal on the inside, we're going to come in. Uh, first, I need to come in. Let's go to shaded mode for a minute. Uh, I'm going to s extract the surface here. So we're just going to come to solid tools, extract surface. Um, yeah. And then I will join those back together. And then I'll also join that with the rest of the ring. And that'll leave this as a separate piece. All right. And we're going to um, give that the silver um, rough, which right now look exact, it looks exactly the same, right? If we come back to rendered um, mode here, uh, like I said, it's looking the same. But we're going to come in on the rough. We're going to add some a bump texture. We're going to do leather. And you can see that already looks a little different. And we're going to change the scale down to extra, extra small. And you could leave it like that. And then I also reduced the polish level a little bit. And you could leave it like that if you wanted. But what I did uh, past that is I switched the type from metal to physically based uh, to have finer control over um, the displacement. So I went from 10% to 5%. If you don't see this, you'll need to, it has trouble drawing this. I'm not sure why. You need to click on detailed settings and make sure that you've got a check mark by bump, normal, and displacement. Okay, so that just kind of uh, made the bumps not be so uh, tall in here. That's all that did. Now, if you wanted, uh, you could actually um, extract this again, join that, and join that to this. And then that would your rough metal would start there. I'm going to control Z that. All right, and so then from this point, all I did was I, uh, and, and I don't know if you can, if you uh, were looking at the other video carefully, you can see that I've got a lot wider uh, area here for the make contact with the finger, which will be more comfortable. But from this point, what I did was I just uh, made duplicates of the ring and positioned them in different ways for the final, the final render. But all right, uh, we are done with that. Now this could not be 3D printed because this is a separate piece from this. So this would just be for rendering. And I, I guess I will, I'll go ahead and <laughs> group it together. Got a couple of minutes here. So just the floor will always appear to be at the most bottom level. Uh, have I made a copy yet? No. So. Control C, Control V, I'll make a copy. We'll bring this over here and I will rotate this from this point right now to here and I'll bring it down. Okay, the this part went under the floor but we'll rotate it again from, from this point to here and then one more time from here to here and now it should look like this is on the on the floor and I don't know if I said but I grouped these together with control G I'm going to delete this line and so now that's just a, a, an example of you know positioning these around I did one like that I remember so we could see the hollowed out inside and then I made another copy of that one which is already appearing to be on the floor like that and I had it where, you know, it was probably something more like, more like this. So this is about, you know, something approximating the scene that I had at the end of the speed model video. It's not exactly, but it's, it's close to it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching uh, this video series with me. I hope it's helped somebody out there uh, who, you know, if you're wanting to model uh, rings with Rhino, hopefully this has been helpful in some way. And I appreciate all of my viewers 
uh, sticking with me to the end here. And just to re reiterate, if this is the sort of content you like, 3D jewelry design, uh, then give me a subscription. I will be doing not only, if my health will allow, I will be doing videos in Rhino and also in Blender because I've used both of those programs uh, to do jewelry design for the past 10 years. And um, I may do some other stuff, you know, like maybe I'll do some animation or whatever, but I need to, I'll need to learn that. That's just something I've always wanted to do and I've never really uh, been able to. I haven't had the time to dedicate to it or some character modeling or something at whatever uh, suits my fancy and that my health will allow. I, I probably won't be able to do any animation because of my arthritis and the, the cysts that are starting to develop probably won't allow it. But maybe, maybe we'll see. But, but I know for the next little while my intention is to focus on making lessons in how to design jewelry uh, in 3D software. So uh, if that's the kind of thing that interests you, please give me a subscription and a thumbs up. That would help me out a lot. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you in future videos.